hi there welcome once again to the public policy cafe it's your host rector jibril mohammed in our previous lesson we talked about the state the emergence of the state and the emergence of politics as a result of conflicts among the interests of individuals who now live as a collective entity and how to resolve this conflict of interest and the making of collective decisions on behalf of the collective body which then translated to what we know today as politics so what do we have on the menu today today we are going to look at what is public policy we we'll look at some definitions and then we look at the elements of public policy that we can deduce from the definitions and then we look at a hypothetical public problem to ease our understanding of what public policy is so what is public policy well let's look at some definitions the first one is from john dewey which says that public policy is concerned with the public and its problems and when you look at Thomas Dye's definition, it says that public policy is what government do, why they do it, and the difference it makes. And if you look at his second definition, which is um, pretty much different from the first one, is that anything government chooses to do or not to do. And when you look at the the, the first definition I mean the second definition it says what governments do so it focuses on what governments do but um, that is 1978 definition tells us that what government chooses not to do is also a public policy so when there is a problem or there's a situation and government decides not to do makes a conscious decision not to take an action it is also a public policy and when you look at the, the final definition from William Jenkins it says that public policy is interrelated decisions taken by political actors concerning the selection of goals and means of achieving them within a specified situation where the decisions in principle be within the power of those actors to achieve now when you look at this definition it doesn't focus on or it doesn't limit public policy to a decision just one decision but interrelated decisions by taken by political actors so public policy a policy could be a set of decisions made and not just one decision and it also looks at um, the concept of power to achieve the decision made so it puts public policy in the context of government's power to achieve these goals in terms of the resources available to achieve the decisions the financial resources the information available to government the time available to government and the power to the power granted by the constitution to governments or to political actors so from the definitions in the previous slide there are some elements that we can deduce we can deduce from these definitions one is that public policy is related to a problem and the problem here is a situation that the public sees as having negative consequences to the general population or some sections of the population the next element is that public policy is related to the pu public so here the problem is seen as a public problem and not a private problem and i must say here that even though we say a public problem it is not necessarily the problem may not necessarily affect the general public but a section of the public another element is government the institution or set of institutions giving the mandate to make decisions and enforce those decisions on behalf of the entire state and the fourth element is decision on the plan of action and as we've established as we've established that 
government makes a decision or makes a decision on a plan of action to solve the problem of the public so these four elements so these four elements are inalienable to the concept of public policy all right so now now that we've discussed some elements of all the elements of public policy let's take a hypothetical public problem and policy to ease our understanding so let's assume there is a state called Anansi Crow and every year flood happens in a town called Bibi Town in Anansi Crow that destroy residents property and sometimes people lose their lives now this problem is then defined as a public problem that needs a policy to address the situation now we see that here Bobby town is just a town in Anansi Chrome however the situation is defined as a public problem that needs to be, that needs to be addressed by the government and then government consults experts and make a decision which in this case we call policy with goals to mitig to mitigate the problem by constructing dam and redirect the water path to the constructed dam the fourth point reveals something we, which we are going to discuss in our later discussions when we're talking about the policy community that government before they make decisions they consult experts and not only experts but civil society or interest groups try to influence the decisions of government so on the, on the surface it appears that government is making decisions but um, what actually happens is that there are a lot of people outside the government involved in the decision making process to solve public problem to summarize in today's um, discussion we talked about what is public policy we look at certain definitions and we looked at the elements that we were that we deduced from the definition and we also looked at a hypothetical public problem this is the end of the discussion today thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe